Hey everyone, it's Jilly Beans here and I am just here to talk to you today about what happens if someone you love joins or is thinking about joining the 12 tribes community slash cult. Um, so yeah, when I first started out here, I was really very inspired to join the group. I was actively seeking community. I was learning about community in college. I was very intrigued about living together and growing organic gardens and different things like that. Um, and so before we begin, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I've got different things about the 12 tribes and my experience there. Um, I have other videos as well. Um, but um, yeah, give me a like if you like my video. I'll try it away. Feel free to comment below as well. Um, so yeah, so what... what so what, what, what do you do if someone that you love or know is thinking seriously about joining the 12 tribes? Um, I would say just, you know, you really, what you got to do is you kind of got to feel it out. You got to feel them out. Like what, just talk to them and be open about it. The worst thing you can do is to come straight against it. If you come straight against it and you're like, no, don't do it. It's a cult. Like, no, don't do it that pretty much cuts you off from having access to that person. So you really just want to be open and have open communication with that person. Um, I mean, you can send them videos about, about people, ex -tribe, 12 tribe members who have exposed their experience, um, things like that. Um, there's plenty of news articles and things like that as well that are open and available to the public. Um, I would say mostly you just want to really encourage them to learn about what they're doing and um, help them in a not an overtaking, I know more than you do type of way, but more like a, hey, that's an interesting idea. Let's talk about this. Like, what have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? Have you read this article? Like, there's a lot to this group, you know, like, let's, let's really look into it and see um, what you're really thinking about. Let me, let me help you understand this really kind of in a way instead of uh, over you don't want to come down on them and think you know more than them but really just come down to their level or wherever they are up to their level or whatever it is but you really have to meet them where they're at um would be my first advice if someone that you know or love is thinking about joining the 12 tribes um because really ultimately it's their own choice and that's just how it is you know you can't make anyone make different decisions. You can't make anyone choose a different path for their own lives. Um, but you can support and come, come with them and help them to see things in a different light. So just have patience and be engaged, you know? Um, so if someone, <clears throat> that's my first advice. If someone hasn't joined yet, but if someone that you lo know or loved did join the group, so that that means that they are in the group they've been baptized like they're fully engaged with the group um my suggestion is to not come against them or the group because when you're in the group you're told that people who come against you or don't support your decisions or come against the group you're supposed to cut them off from your life um which is a big deal so you don't want to come against them if they're in the group. You want to still have open communication. You want to still be accessible to them. And I think ultimately the, the main important thing is just listening to them. Listening to them and it, it won't always make sense what they're saying probably. <laughs> it's like a whole different language, a whole different thought program. It's I mean, it's, it's a belief system that you probably won't be able to understand and agree with. Um, but I think the most important thing is that you don't come against it and that you always make sure that they know that you are there for them whenever, whatever happens, whenever it does happen, if something happens, that you're always available for them. Um, I think that's extremely important. Um, I had, in my personal experience, I had... Um, my parents were very against me coming into the, the group, which is completely understandable. Um, but for me, I was determined. I was, my, my heart was set on it. I, that's what I was doing. 
So for me, I had to actually literally give up my parents in the process of joining the group. And I had to cut off communication. I had to cut off, I mean, I, literally I lived across the valley. I could see my parents' house, the house that I grew up in. I could see that house from where I was living in the 12 tribes. So that was always this thing. I could always see, you know, like, bam, right there. But I had to make that choice every day to give up my parents because they were not supporting me in what I was doing, which was really challenging for everyone involved, you know? Um, so, uh, just support them, just support them and be available to them. Don't come hard against them because that's not going to do anything good for anybody really. And if, if there is any hope of your family or friend coming out of the 12 tribes, you have to be able to be, um, accessible to them and you have to let them know all throughout the time of them being brainwashed and whatnot. You have to be able to have them know that you are still there for them no matter what. I think that's like the most important thing. Um, because if, if, who knows, months, weeks, years down the road, something happens and they're, they're, they want to leave the group, they know where to go. And that would be you if you're supportive of that time, you know, just be there for them. Don't get into arguments. It's not going to do any good. Just be there for them and just make sure that they know that. That's the most important thing. So, um, yeah, in my case, I was told to basically deny my parents for literally eight years. And that's what I did. <laughs> and at the end of those eight years, I was actually dropped off at my parents' house with all my stuff being like, hey, there you go. Um, so it was pretty awkward and I'm really grateful for my parents' forgiveness and, um, yeah, it's been a long road to be able to even like establish that connection again with my parents, but I'm grateful that they're willing to do that. And obviously I am as well. And, um, they can know my grand, my, know their grandchildren and know my kids, you know, and have a relationship. But, um. Yeah, if you cut off if you cut off your friends and family when they join the group, then you'll be cut off. That's just how it goes. So um, just think about it. Consider your moves, and uh, just it doesn't have to be forever. Just know that you just got to be supportive of them, no matter what decisions they make. Because ultimately, it's their own decisions. And as time passes, things become more clear and it's important that you're there for them through that entire process if you really love them. So um, that's my advice for all you all who are going through this time and maybe you have someone who you love, who's a family member or a friend who is going to decide or has decided to join the 12 tribes, just, just be there for them, you know, because... Um, Maybe stuff will happen and they'll need some help and you can be the person to help them out of that group if there's no pressure and just availability. So that's my advice to you about the 12 tribes. It's a pretty intense group. I was there for eight years. So I hope you all take care and um, there is hope after the group for sure. So much to life and I learned so much when I was there. So happy to be out of it. And um, yeah, I hope you all, I wish you all the best for sure. And uh, feel free to comment below, like my video, and I will talk to you again. All right. Peace out, folks. Bye. <laughs>